with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. All right, listen up. All right, attention. Sergeant Speed. Tonight starts the heavy night. Nice heavy night. All right, it starts heavy tonight, and it will not stop until Tuesday. Long hours. Patients are thin right now. We've been on our feet already for a week, okay? So be kind to the drunk tourist, okay? <laughs> Give them their one warning for the flash in the boobs. Second time they ride. Anything from the waist down, rides immediately. Both sexes. The flash in the boobs also includes the male transvestites. They cannot be on the street showing their enlarged breast. They have to keep them covered as well. Let's have fun, but at the same time, let's be professional. Y'all be careful out there. <laughs> Night. Instead of the crowd getting thinner, it's getting heavier. You just want the small pockets. All right, looks like this gentleman that's uh, with the uh, pirate's hat is about to expose his genitals. As soon as he does that, he's going to take the ride. Here we go. The rule is anything below the waist takes the ride.
away a hundred dollar bill one away to play a $100 bill. He gave a hundred dollar bill to another girl and then the other girl he said, Well, I'm gonna go buy some drink. Never showed back up with the drink. And uh he approached these three ladies right here. Claim, hey, where's my hundred dollar bill? Start cursing them out, pushing on them and grabbing them. So Wes escorted them out the door. As he was escorting uh the gentleman out the subject out the door, he turned around and kicked Wes in the face. Stole my money. Somewhere roll around on the ground. I gave her hundred dollars. My hand got scraped off the concrete. I gave her a hundred dollar bill to pay for some beers. And she took it off. This guy got got in a fight beside the bar. They took him outside. He continually started fighting outside. He's bleeding like this and all that before he got out here. So I'm gonna take him to charity hospital, get him cleaned up, make sure there's nothing wrong with him other than a couple of abrasions and stuff. From there he'll go to jail. Get EMS over here. Have EMS check him out. Dave. I want to get my money back. That's Dave. That's So you know why you go? dollars from me. Dave, you know why you going to jail? Because she stole a hundred dollars from me and you guys are, uh, you kick one of my officers in the face. Please let me. You scream. kick me in the leg. I didn't want to. Okay. Kick you. I didn't so want to. So you're going to jail after you get out of Charity Hospital. Uh, we got all the witnesses' names and everything out of the Yeah, sir. All right. What about our guys? We're going to get them up to the hospital, let them get checked out. We have EMS and Ralph to check out both him right. and the officers. Get him, get him checked out. Oh, yeah. He's being charged with numerous things battery on police officers, batteries on the bar itself, uh, criminal damage to the property, the uniform, hats, as well as the apparel that we're wearing. Uh, welcome to Mardi Gras. Oh, I'm new out here, so this is kind of a wild experience for me. I always wanted to be a police officer, and, and this is a lot more than I ever imagined it would be. Uh, I kind of got lucky getting get placed down here in the 8th District. No place else in the world where you can find this. We just got some information about a male and a female possibly having sexual intercourse on the street. So we're going to go see what this is all about. 
She wants to know who this is. You don't know who this guy is? We got that understood. But you told me earlier that you know him. She's sorry. Remember, hotels. Yes. Okay? If not a hotel, a motel. Yes. Hey, Queen. Hey. Okay, you guys are going to go to uh, Central Lockup, and you're going to be booked for uh, lewd conduct and public intoxication. Obviously, you're both a little bit too drunk to be out here, and probably the alcohol instigated the other situation with the lewd conduct. Hopefully next time you remember. Two is too many. Remember that. Two beers too many. Two beers? I'll head that way. We just got some information that a doorman has been assaulted. Not even drinking. He's being really rude. Why are your lips all red around the rim? That's that's not from drinking red drink. I had a one hurricane. So you're saying now you had one drink? One drink. And so you spit in a man's face for being rude. You couldn't say Where? you're being rude and walk away. No. Wouldn't that be more? I did tell him that, and he was being really mean. So now you're going to go to jail for it. I'm going to jail. You're going to jail. It's assault. I mean, that's a that's battery. It's simple battery. Are you kidding? Me? Nope. You're going to jail. I'm going to jail. Yes. You have ID in here? I'm just saying. I spit and I get arrested? Are you kidding? It's battery. If that man would have spit on you, he would have went to jail. I would have licked it. You got I got to hear what Rob is called. Go ahead. That's enough. I'm still not finished arresting these two people for uh, having sex on the sidewalk. And I get flagged down about someone spitting in someone else's face. Yeah, Mardi Gras here now, but the crowd's unbelievable. Just seems like overnight they just poured in. But uh, we're out here in plain clothes. In my group, we got about 40 or 50 of us walking around all over the quarters, just spread out, looking to see what we can get, whether it be guns, fights, pickpockets con games, whatever we walk up on. And uh, usually we're pretty effective with it too, so hopefully we'll have a good year this year and all go home safe at the end. Engage it like y'all gonna do it, then you, you, you got them for like a little bit. On the ground, on the ground, on the ground. On the ground, put both hands on your back. Lay up, big boy. Lay up. Turn over, big boy. Turn over. Lay up, big boy. Turn over. Turn over. Put your other arm out. Hands up. You know the deal. Hands up. Put your wrist together. Put your wrist together. Roll over. Roll over. Get your knees in. Get that money. Get that money. Put your knee in. Put your knee in. Now roll. Roll. Come on, bro. You obviously know it's illegal. You ran from us. Hey, I didn't know what was going on. I saw uh, I was getting robbed. 
No, nah, don't play that with me. Don't play that. Don't play that with me. You got anything else on? You do realize that down here in New Orleans, you can't run those three-car Monty games, right? It's your first time? You never, you never been down here before? Never dealt with that before? Down here in New Orleans, all right? That's considered a scam, okay? And on the streets of New Orleans, that is illegal. It's a gambling scam, okay? You can't be doing that down here. Tonight, you're gonna take a little charge. You get out in the morning, go on home. If you ever come back, now you know. Learning experience, all right? Your boy who's looking out, a lookout for you. I mean, obviously you knew something was up, you got a lookout. He ain't gonna take that ride with you. Accessory, all right? So just chill out, we we'll do what we gotta do. So how'd you know we were the police, man? You wanna talk to me? You wanna tell me how you know I was a police? This makes me better. I've seen the chain. You see the chain with this one? All right, that's cool. All right, at least we know what you're looking for. You get out Skeeter, is that your sign? You let him know? Is that your sign to let him know that we were walking in on him? You can be honest, man. All right. Well, down here, with, they don't deal with it. They don't, they don't want to play with it. They don't want to have it. That's something that, we're, gonna, that we're, look, we're out here looking for. There's a lot more of us. So all your friends that are out here doing it too, they're going to get caught eventually. Lookouts or no lookouts. Take his little charge, going home. You're more welcome to come back. No hard feelings. Just don't be pulling the scams, all right? Oh, when you walked up, you saw the cap game going? Oh, yeah. I mean, he was in the process of, of doing the whole shuffle. He had he had a player up there. I mean, they were they were rolling, he, doing his shuffle. Uh, at which time, you know, like I said, we, they made us. Uh, lookout yelled it. Officer Johns let us know that we were made. So we made the apprehension. And good job on you catching him right, as, right. as he I took was, off. I was in the back. I heard Lee Tran scream, like, get him, get him, get him. So. That's good. Good job. We'll uh, wrap this up, get this guy processed, and we'll get back out of it. Hey, 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 hey. Police officer, you back off. You back off too, bub. We're not talking to you. Come here, put your hands up on the wall. Both of them up on the wall. I don't come to your town and pee on your streets, do I? Nope. Give me this hand. right now. There's bars, there's porta pots, there's everything else out here tonight. There's no reason for you to stand over here and pee on our streets. Hey, hey, why are you arrest us? No, 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 no. Don't be a I know my rights, right? He Don't worry about your rights. I know, I know what I did. He didn't do anything, all right? What's your rights? Huh? I, I, I on the, on the street. I know. Well, he's also get him out yeah. with me. Why? And would not move out of the way when we asked him to move. But, okay, he's yeah. drunk. You That's fine. Thank you. That's what arresting him for. Why? You didn't tell me I'm going to arrest him for what? For what? No, no. Oh, really? Oh, hey. well, how many people are hey. intoxicated? Hey, hey. No. Hey, hey. Carlos, be quiet, please. Chill out. No, no, I know my rights. That's why hey, I know. Hey. And your rights aren't being violated. Hey. This is your hotel key. Is she with you? She yeah. staying with you? Right. Yeah. We're gonna cut her loose and give her this is the hotel. No, key. yeah, you gotta cut, cut the, both of them loose. Bruh, they, they, I can't cut him loose. Why? Why him? Because he continues to try to block me from getting to you. That's interfering with a police investigation. I don't care if he's drunk or not, okay? If he's too drunk to realize that this badge and that I'm identifying myself as a police officer, then he's too intoxicated to be out here. That's plain and simple. Okay? Normally, out here, you know, we look for more of the serious offenses, guns, dope, things of that nature. But if we see something obvious like that, we got to take action. He get turned over to the paddy wagon, and from there, he'll be taken to the central lockout where he'll be processed.